the last episode was actually a good reintroduction into Index. It was, oh, remember these characters? They exist. Oh, and these ones over here, they have some tension. Bit of history. While also introducing some new guys, some new motives. That's some knights. But the fact that they were clanking around and were taken down so easily, they shame the round table. But there's more to come, so sit back, get yourself a drink. Let's see some more index. That's that's a good umbrella. Someone's taking care of their skin in the sun. I do think the what's his name? Style or something? Should cut back on the cigarettes. Hmm, close enough. I actually know a few people called Laura. Hmm, makes sense. She did her hardest to try and learn the language. You have to be careful of where you learn stuff from. Why did the fact that the little notepad? Ah. Interesting. We're getting back into the mystery of the... The grimoires. Probably not something you want to be... Speaking about in public. <laughs> You're disturbing everyone around. Be careful what, what you say. So the first episode we had someone who's trying to use the books to heal someone. And now there's someone else that's also finding some interest in the grimoires. Does such an ornate church exist in... In Japan. I mean, probably, but... Interesting. I wonder how many more bits of misfortune Tolma is going to undergo. He has been the brunt of a lot of things, hasn't he? Also, it's are, the scenes in Railgun where they're actually battling and zooming about look pretty cool. But just then, in the opening, if this is what is in Index, we can expect some quite good animation. You know, sometimes I wish I didn't have to... I could just wake up and have my head do something instead of looking as it does. Maybe if I washed it. <laughs> Keep spinning. Yep. I'm not sure how watching that would make you dizzy. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even turn her head to keep in line with where she's looking.
Isn't it obvious? Oh, so not just because you want to take the the week off to play on the robots. At least teaching her to cook for herself might be good. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it didn't do the little imagination sequence there. Not usually how you... Why, how you start a conversation. Do they do the schools get various benefits if they perform well? Fullest, I see. Piecing things back together is gonna would always be a pain in the ass, but I never thought about things just like knowing where things are, the your general sense of direction. Ah. For a moment, I thought she had actually stepped off of the, the robot thing, but no, can't have that. You can hear the motor of that robot straining. <laughs> Is that going to conflict with the with the sports thing? Kind of at all. Actually, that's quite a good description. There's not many people it could be. Yep. Well... <laughs> Well, I don't. She is actually quite well informed. Ah, uh, of course, a moment of lack security when it's in transit. And someone must have been on the inside to know that it was being moved. So now we also have an extra level of time sensitivity on top of it. He has to use his... He has to discern what to do at the time. Another talisman. There's a cross. So... Was he in contact with her in the first season of Index? Ah. 
They are some high shoes. I mean, quite good doing a balancing act wearing those. <laughs> Not the first time we've seen it. it. Was there's a few other characters. There's a lot of people in the same kind of get up around here. Give them a wide berth. Just run away, Tom. Too late. I think you are giving some... Some odd advice. Or is she just not listening? Okay. He wasn't trying to get rid of her. He was actually giving her some helpful little hints. Are you going to get on the bus? Yeah. She's going to be trouble, isn't she? It all healed up. Personal space doesn't seem to be well taught in the inner circle. <laughs> Searching for someone. Getting away from someone. Agnes, okay. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So you don't actually know if they are casting something because they do it all the all the time within mundane tasks. Or at least hide certain activations of it. Wasn't she the, the other one that was kidnapped? And he did so quite well. Maybe you should be given some sort of reward. Well, that was easy. Ah, his kind regards is all the... Actually, yes, that would help. I don't think secondhand smoke is a is a reward. Have you only just remembered? It's the beach ball. I'm going to have some new fears, aren't I? No one can be so... carefree at the beach anymore. Oh. They... They just cut through the floor? They've got some sharp swords there. <laughs> he 
Yeah, that would be a tripping hazard now that there is just a hole in the floor. Is that a bad thing? Also, even even a like really dangerous magic book, I don't think burning it would be the greatest idea. You know, it, even if it falls in the wrong hands, it can still be valuable. Oh no. Oh, not striped. Second glance. <sighs> he has... Uh, it is profanity against God itself. There is some information that I've managed to gather, but you'd think that they'd be able to hide their tracks a bit better if they're... if they've actually planned it out. So what other spells are limited to various countries? Ah, so fast travel. Actually, that would be incredibly useful. Oh. <laughs> Anything that uses astrology. Nah, you've lost me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have plenty of time. Four and a half hours. Unless they decide to travel a bit far so that they don't get caught almost immediately. Sumi Masen. Yes. What is that? Ah, oh, talismans. I thought it was just some fancy design. Don't just jump. Jump in. It's actually a, an attack by the by the church. Toma, what have you done? Mm. Why is she confused? She saw the whole ordeal unfold. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. That's how it looked. It how long it took. Before she started uh, actually reacting. Well. It's the eternal fires of damnation for him. He, he, he did say normal. What kind of slumber party night talk is this?
which makes things interesting. Two, two people on opposite sides of the conflict. The whole Romeo and Juliet type story, isn't it? Well, I could, I see the. What would you prefer it if it was him? I see that the uh, shower scene was forgiven. Uh, I'm not going to question anything now. I'm going to question a few things now. Ah. Maybe you should start padlocking the zip on the tent shut. Hey, that's what you shout out? Okay. In my head, Star was uh, awake for the entire thing, but just like, no, I'm not getting involved. That's a Pope? Okay. <laughs> ah, the diverse religion. Keeping up with the... Uh, with the present day, not holding on to tradition. Why? He really has just stopped, like, trying to distance himself from Index and everything that's going on after everything that's happened so far. Maybe just staying at home. Oh, yeah, it's destroyed, isn't it? But might be the better solution for a while. He'd have less teeth marks and probably less court summons. I think if nuns and one all carried weapons and attacked people, well, I think attending church would be less boring, more frightening. Well, there we have it. By sheer chance alone, running across the person that is of great desire to everyone, how did she not get captured beforehand? I don't think a nun just trying to take public transport is all that difficult to point out. And the starting of some proper intrigue here, and obviously setting us up for some scenes, some of which I think would be best if I didn't remember. And as the meme goes to the FBI agent who is watching this, hi David. But you'd think if there were some who are prone to sleepwalking that they'd have others kind of looking out for them, or at least someone on guard to see that no one's ambling about. But ultimately, who's going to win? The new or the old? The traditional or the loose-fitting shirts? But as we know, knowledge is power, so we're going to have to protect a whole hell of a lot of it. And it's good that Star is uh, so recognisable that someone who only got a relatively brief moment with him could pick him out of a lineup that easily. But then again, red hair, earrings, smokes all the time, wears a long coat. 
Oh, and a barcode. Yeah, that's... It's not really that common, is it? But is no one going to mention the fact that we didn't really see Sinks at all after after the, he got dizzy there? So, poor guy must be resting up. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and uh, are looking forward to the upcoming foray. So, let me know if you did. Come back for more. You know, if we're out of prison by then. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you there. I'm pretty sure my patrons would wish to be waking up alone. However, there's always the gremlin that is my channel crawling into people's beds. And unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop it. So if you want to be bothered by either your worst sleep paralysis demon or a new bedside fantasy, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. And I need to thank Sal, Raywin, Electric Ant, Arvia, Noku, Shiwan, Mecca, Jennifer Rojas, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Matt, Rassus Poulsen, Gurley, Denimit1997, ASD, Dark Shadow 7899 and everyone else. Because they are the hole in the ground that whisks me off to new places.